This is how the 2016 failed coup attempt started in Turkey. Military vehicles stopped traffic on Istanbul's iconic Bosphorus Bridge. Jets flew low, sirens blurred, and violence erupted in the streets. But few predicted that the events of July 15, 2016 would dramatically change the media landscape in Turkey. On that day, Ilhan Tanir was in Washington for the Turkish daily, Cumhuriyet. At the time, there were a lot of attacks from ISIS attacks in Turkey, and the rumors and the tweets were talking about how could be uh, some kind of ISIS attack is impending. That's why uh, they are holding the Bosphorus Bridge. But the Islamic State wasn't involved, and the coup was defeated within hours, causing nearly 250 deaths and more than 2,000 injuries. In seeking justice, the government went after not only the actual perpetrators of the coup, but also critics and journalists, including Tanir. It was clear that uh, the Turkish government is, was very unhappy and they were going to go after all these uh, critical newspapers and outlets and they were already shutting down hundreds of them. But the Jumuriyet was that not could easily be a shut down newspaper. Instead of that, they just uh, created this really crazy indictment for about 15, 16 Jumuriyet a journalist, one of them was, I was one of them. Turkey dismisses international criticism of the arrests of critics and reporters. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says they are detained for terrorism charges, not journalism. Most of those detained are accused of ties to or support for the Gulen movement that Ankara says organized the coup. Experts say the 2016 event ushered in a new era of repression against the media. Before July 15, this harsh restraint was focused on the leftist, Kurdish, and Armenian media. But after July 15, this treatment turned toward mainstream media too. Throughout the whole country, pressure increased incredibly. Right now, we have hundreds of clients, from important, popular, and powerful people to those whose names are unknown, but they nonetheless work as journalists. The arrests and trials have resulted in Turkey being labeled as one of the worst jailers of journalists globally. Namo Abdullah, VOA News.